Hey, we love that umbrella guy. <laughs> we love that umbrella guy. <laughs> uh, all right. Thank you. Thank you. Rolling up, I'm feeling fly. Yeah, I'm so damn fresh. Got that platinum grill, bringing in the chest. Diamonds in my mouth, shining when I speak. That umbrella guy, Boston speaking geek. Ice on my teeth, I'm dripping so hard. Platinum grills, I'm the king of the boulevard. Throwing money in the club, making haters mad. I'm the baddest in the game, no one gets a pass. Oh yeah. Crushing all these lines, yeah, I feel fly. Rolling on the dubs, that umbrella guy. Iced out flow on the boulevard. You ain't a comic gangster, don't be playing hard. Ice on my teeth, I'm flying so high. Dropping the bass, that umbrella guy. One drill to rule them all, one drill to bind them. Baby, I'm so iced out, gonna blind them. Rolling in town, I'm an army of one. Doing verbal walk by, blazing like the sun Riding in my whip, pushing false accusers Dropping off the base on the real abusers yeah. Living life fast, no time for the smoke Justice on my mind, stacking up on my flow Life in the fast lane, no time to blink Ice on my teeth, watch it when I speak Chilling on my rhymes, never missing the beat Ice on my teeth, yeah, I'm living that sweet That umbrella guy bringing the platinum heat Crushing every hate and no time for defeat, oh yeah Hey there, how's it going today? Welcome to a Sunday night edition of Wow There is some crazy stuff out there Now today, I'm going to say it this way I'm sure that the platform is not going to like what we talk about So... This will be uh, unad friendly. So if you like what we do here, consider back in the channel today. <laughs> Typically, I won't say it that way, but I'm sure when you bring up ah, monsters, a very nice word of putting it, I'm going to say predator, <laughs> convicted predator. <laughs> That's what they ended up exposing. And it's a lot worse, actually, than, um, <laughs> than, those words really convey. You know, I was going through the old, um, I was going through a bunch of old messages that had been posted. I was trying to catch up everything. I, I've been looking through any controversy, any post, anything that deals with the hells. Just like I said, trying to pick up all the loose pieces out there. And I found one piece. And again, <laughs> This, I'm going to go down this rabbit hole, and we'll see where we go from there. If we go for anywhere else from there, I don't know if this just wants to be its own thing. I'm not sure tonight, really, you know, because, I mean, oh, now I have to give them props, too. Oh, by the way, I want to answer one question, too, when we get going. Um, I always get a question of, why a long intro? Well, first, that's a pretty short intro for me. <laughs> Most intros are about five minutes, but why a long intro? Because otherwise, we can sit here. And we can waste 10 minutes while people are like, hey, did I miss what's going on? Or, or when, uh, when the stream gets going, that's when, uh, that's when YouTube starts sending out notifications. It sends out the majority of them. So you put on, a notific uh, you put on a, an intro, and then, yes, you will have people that drift in late, but you catch more people that way. So, And I like intros. I like having fun with them. So, <laughs> uh, All right, so I want to show you something here. Give me one minute to lock in. I'm going to show you a bunch of stuff here. Now, I'm going to have to do a lot of this through screenshots because if I show you off an offender registry, I'll show you some things off of offender registry, but I'm not going to show you everything off of it because offender registry comes with addresses and stuff like that, and I can't show that on here. Okay, I can show pictures. I can show names. This is, again, this is public information, but can't show address so i can't show you straight off the offender registry but I, like i said i want to show you the kind of people that have aimed at the hells it's just it's crazy so i i saw this and i'm always i'm always curious when i see a claim you know like i said even with the even with the hells you know there were claims that um that said terrible things about the hells and when that stuff comes up I don't believe what's there, but I try to do my basic due diligence, you know, 
like if somebody's name they, they've been accused of of being some kind of a again i'm just going to use the word monster because that that's a catch-all you do your due diligence well that's the same with accusations like this so one of the people that took aim at the hills was cole allen i'm gonna say renee i'm not sure exactly how to pronounce that and what he was doing was actually um it was doxing family of jeremy now that in of itself is bad enough right i mean that's that's pretty that's pretty awful stuff but this post here this is a post from the hills you know it's again it's it's not that old it's actually pretty recent and it notes i'm gonna let us read this to you here and then we're going to get into who this is does cole allen think changing his profile picture to a truck makes him any less of a we're gonna say uh, an offender <laughs> even though like i said the the uh the youtube the the algorithm gods won't like this at all today <laughs> yeah. but it, it needs to be put out there who got busted for kitty let's just say prawn and he posted my daughter's address for the other offenders now that's an eye-catching statement in isn't it Wow, I mean, that, that's a big statement there. <laughs> well, it turns out that's 100% legit. So that name is a very easy to find name. In fact, when you start looking that name up, again, I've got to use screenshots for this, okay? So you have to excuse me. I'm going to have to pull it up into certain ones. I'm going to show you something really disturbing about this person, okay? And I mean, beyond the fact that they are what they say they are, even more disturbing. Give me one second here. Give me one second. I've got something playing in the background. Just give me one minute. There we go. <laughs> I actually, I clicked on the sound thing and I turned it on. <laughs> so I was like, wait a minute, I can hear myself talking. Whoopsie. Okay, so this is the person that they were discussing. They are indeed a predator, <laughs> very much so. If you look them up in the registry, that name is very distinctive. And what you'll find, what's really creepy about this, if you look this name up, you'll not only find that, but you'll find them all over social media. So I'm going to introduce this person, and then I'm going to show you something really fucking disturbing about this person. Even more than this. I mean, well, you know, maybe not more than this, but you know what I mean. It's uh, some of the things that they've been involved in that I thought, oh, what? What the? Okay, so we have them. They're, um, you know, they give their birth date, registration duration. For what they did, they're going to be registered for 25 years. So they're going to be registered for quite some time. Gives the gives everything about them, da da da. The addresses have actually been removed. Let me lock in. I'm gonna have to again, I'm using screenshots because if I do it any other way, it causes a problem. Like I said, give me one minute. And it gives their their crimes. Now I'm actually gonna pull this out of the let me see if I can pull this out of the offender registry without giving anything away. Yeah, yeah, I can. All right, good deal. Again, I can't show addresses. That's why I can't. I'm not just showing it out of the uh, out of the offender registry itself. Everything I would have just pulled up the offender registry otherwise. But here's the offender registry. I mean, again, that's them. Crime, attempted possession of visual depiction of of let's just say explicit imagery. Two counts. The status of a victim. They're a minor in this, and the conviction date is actually very important. I want you to glue this into your brain, okay? 2010. Now, their crime, when you look this up, too, I was curious how exactly what this crime means, so I looked it up under the state. And again, props to, uh, props to Jeremy for finding who this person is. So here's the crime itself. The crime... Sexually explicit conduct, visual depictions, unlawful penalty. 
Again, the 28, 28, 8, 13, 01. It shall be unlawful for a person 19 years of age or older to knowingly possess any visually digital depictions of, let's just say, explicit conduct, which a child is one of its participants or portrayed observers. Violation of this is a class 2A felony. It shall be unlawful for a person under 19 years of age to knowingly or intentionally possess visual depictions of that again, which child other than the, de than the defendant as one of its participants or portrayed observers. So again, you know, the victim in this is a minor. It should be an affirmative defense to a charge made pursuant to that. The defendant was less than 19 years of age. Visual depiction, it would be a certain type of explicit conduct. Portrays a child who is 15 years of age or older. The visual depiction was knowingly and voluntarily generated. The depiction was knowingly and voluntarily provided by the child. Again, child. You notice this over and over again. This is the kind of pieces of shit that are going after the hells these days. And it, it goes through. You get the idea. I hate reading through this kind of stuff. It's awful. But again, there's a point to all of this. Now, when I started going through and looking at all of the things that you could find with them, I noticed... You know, that, that second picture that's actually included with them is actually a very good giveaway. Because when you start matching it up, you start finding their profiles all over the place. And what you find is, after they were convicted, after, because they were convicted in 20, uh, 2010, right? You notice the, uh, the date on this. The date on this is 2011, April. Hmm. So this was created, and again, this is now a defunct account, but it shows you the kind of stuff that this person was doing, and it's disturbing. Let me let mess it up. If you go through this, and I doubt the person that is uh, they're they're trying to get a hold of over and over again actually noticed, but they keep tagging in someone. Someone at the time, when you look at profiles for the people they keep trying to get a hold of, yeah, if you uh, if you reduce their age, oh, I'm thinking they were trying to make contact with minors. Now, this is something um, I am going to follow up with the police on and just make sure, because I've, I've been doing a lot of digging into this. And they have Instagram accounts and they have everything else. But this would have definitely been a violation of their conditions. Because they were goingly going out and trying to make contact after being convicted. I mean, you think about this. This is a, this is a, a registered offender here that's created something being like, you know, I need a chill woman. I need me a chill woman. Need some new friends to hang out with. Oh, I need followers. Oh, he keeps tagging in these random people, trying to get them to follow him more again. Huh. Now, there's a lot of them, by the way, too. When you look up the offender registry, there's this, there's this frightening thing. You can actually find out, if you ever want to look at the world the same again, you should know what's around you, by the way. But if you ever want to look at the world and kind of blow it kind of blow it out of your comfort zone it's going to make you think oh my god look up the offender registry and how many offenders are close to you because there's probably there's a lot there were a lot near you the area that this one is in is actually a um, it's actually a smaller area but even then <laughs> but i mean you just see that I mean, see them trying to make contact over and over again through these. So they set this stuff up after they get convicted. And my God, like, like I said, if you go in and you start looking up Instagram, you start looking up other accounts, their face is all over this stuff. And they are a convicted offender, a 25-year registered offender. 
And again, when you look at what's there, and then you compare what, give me one second, got to pull all that back up. Then you compare what the hells we're talking about. That gives it a totally new reference point. I got a kid coming. Give me one second. <laughs> uh, this is definitely a tough one through here. Hey, yeah, I, I like my baby shark thing. You what? I like my baby shark thing where my candy go. There's a barn thing where you get the candy from and put in the candy thing where mm -hmm. the, the baby shark thing. I don't know. Go ask Sissy if she knows where it is. I have no idea where that is, okay? Here, I'll give you a lollipop. Um, what color? What color? I don't know. What color are you doing? I saw a few here. You want, what color? This one? Is that yellow? Mm. Looks yellow red, huh? You want that? Yellow red. Yellow, yellow red. You want it? Yellow red. I think it's yeah, it's yellow. It's that yellow. Okay, take them upstairs though. I got to talk about this stuff, okay? And then after we, after I do my stuff, whoa, be careful! Don't break my phone. <laughs> Don't hit my phone's cut on your leg. There you go. <laughs> hey, what? What? The light thing. The light. What did you say? The light. What light? Oh yeah, I charged it up. I'll give it to you uh, after I finish. Okay, it's almost done. I had to, I had to go and set it up real quick. Okay, I'll give it to, I, I'll give it to you after I finish. Okay, go upstairs though. Okay, go ask Sissy. Maybe she knows where your baby shark thing is. All right, love you. Love you. Love you. <laughs> uh, this is why you know that that is why subjects like this disturb me. I'm a parent. I have two little kids. I have a four and a 10 year old. I also, I come from a mental health background and a mental health background. I work with, uh, I work with kids. I work with for the longest time. I don't do this anymore because it, 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 it kind of breaks pieces in you. Some people can do it and man props to them, but I can't do it. But I work with kids that um, had been through some of the worst things ever. And I tell you, I, you, you know, you hate these type of offenders, but when you work with their victims, I, I can't begin to tell you the, the intense hatred that you develop. I mean, it's, it's, it's beyond that. Like, that's not something I could, it's not something I could ever work with. So when you look at this though, again, when you actually think about what is going on here? You have this person. They are allowed to be active, by the way. I was curious about the laws pertaining to this. So I talked to I talked to a few people on this subject because I wanted to know I wanted to know where social media extends to. Like what exactly can they do on social media? Apparently, under the law, you know, once you've once you have paid your societal due. As, uh, as is often the case. Although in these, uh, you know, what I found with offenders, just to be honest, I, at one time, I worked with offenders as well because it's like this. If you don't put these people under monitoring, do you know what the reoffense rate is in the first year? 80%. If they are left without any monitoring whatsoever, four out of five will reoffend. That is a, an actual stat, four out of five, 80% reoffense rate. If they are put under monitoring, that is not giving them a hall pass or, oh man, here's you a blanket to cry on. No, it's monitoring and making sure it, again, I don't, I don't work with that anymore. And I'm, I'm just being blunt on the way I see it. Unlike anybody else out there, these offenders are like, like handling nuclear bombs. Even with monitoring in the first year, one out of five will reoffend. And when they do, they destroy, they destroy lives. They absolutely do. But yeah, I mean, I worked with that until <laughs> I most people feign remorse, but some don't. Some of these monsters don't feign remorse.
You get a person across the table from you that doesn't feign. They take zeal in what they do. Yeah. You know, that, that human aspect of you, <laughs> even if you, uh, even if you're working in mental health, you're like, man, I want to make this person eat teeth. So I, I can't do that. I just, I can't do that. And I can't work with, look, I have two kids and it, it, it excuse my wording, but it fucks you up inside. So I can't do that either, but it does really make you cognizant of the, again, the kind of people that took aim at, at Jeremy Hill. Like wh what the fuck? Like what world does this kind of a piece of, of garbage take aim and start doxing the addresses of his, of his, his daughter. I mean, you would, you would think this type of piece of garbage would be laying low, right? Like hoping not to go to jail, but no, they're too fucking dumb to understand what kind of a piece of trash this person is. So I really, I wanted to dedicate time to being like, you know what? Jeremy Hale has had monsters aiming him. Not meth heads. Not scammers. I mean, those two, obviously. But it goes beyond that. I mean, legit. Like, I, th I think we could unanimously agree on what kind of a piece of shit this is. Well, I started down this rabbit hole, like I said, and the amount of accounts that I found out there, they disturbed me. And I imagine, like, like it was just plain to see. I imagine uh, Jeremy Hale or somebody in his audience figured out who that was because they used their picture. Because that's what they were doing. I mean, their picture is on display, and it is... It's unmistakable who they are. When you look in the offender registry, very easily identified person. And they felt comfortable enough taking aim at the hells and trying to ruin them that way. I mean, that's crazy. I was going through, though. I mean, let me, let me show you some other stuff, too. I've been going through like, just all the all the crazy that has happened. And this stuff is crazy, by the way. Give me a second. It's going to take me a minute to pull this up, okay? But I was going through the posts on Facebook because, you know, again, I'm trying to understand Lynette and all the other players. I'm, I'm just trying to understand more and more. And... Some of the stuff that is posted, again, I, you know, some of this I've seen. And that offender was right there in the middle. But I mean, some of the messages, some of the insanity, one of them actually really stood out to me. Let me let me pull this one up, actually. It was a message talking about the. Uh, the kids, you know, the, the kid, oh, he's going to run down my. Uh, Running down my kids. <laughs> There's a profile from her. I can't, I'm not going to put this up on my screen because of the wording. And I'm going to bleep some of the wording. Okay. But I, I want you to hear like the message that comes from a Lynette Facebook post. Okay. <laughs> Listen to this here. John has the perfect plan to take down YouTube. I'm going to say bundle of sticks, man. That's the best way I'm going to go with it. You know what I'm talking about. Or cigarette, man, if you prefer that in the UK. And his sand, you know the next word that comes after sand, wife. It's too good. We have a friend getting out of jail, and he's going to do work for us. Plus, he has a jail friend. <laughs> that, that, it was posted under one of those sections that was on a Facebook for hers. You know, when when she said that uh, she had been called some 
pretty horrible things. Yeah, that was there. Like I said, I didn't put that up there. That, that is prominently on display on, in the Facebook message. I'm going to pull up some of the messages that are attached to that too. But that one I thought was really kind of telling. Because again, you remember the AK-47 commentary? All of that. <sighs> you know, in the next few days, too, we'll we'll look at the um, we'll look at some of the what happened in court. I think Megan is going to go over some of that. I think tomorrow you also have uh, what's his freaking name? The the lawyer channel. They've been going over some of that. I can't think M something. Long. I, I'm, I just got to know them. So, you know, I just know of their channel because of Megan. And I was watching them the other night. And they were doing a good job with this stuff, too. Let me pull up this here, though. I thought seeing what was happening in the courtroom was actually quite crazy. Here's some more of those messages, too. You know, when they're talking about running over babies in the road. You know, and it's, the blur is the way that the blur was posted, just by the way. MG Law, thank you. Yeah, I, I liked MG Law. I thought they were pretty, uh, you know, shout out to them. I, um... I'm, one of the things I enjoy about stuff like this is seeing other channels that I've never heard of. And MG Law was an interesting one. So props to them, too. You know, make sure you sub to them. They actually... Um, they got a good they got a good sub boost and i like i like seeing that but they were going over stuff and, and seeing in the courtroom again you'll see this stuff more than once and i i don't think you know some people if you don't like seeing things multiple times that's okay that's that's your prerogative but i think it's interesting to get other people's takes like i uh i'll catch like i catch dui guy talking about certain things I've I've started going through um, all of Jeremy's video. I'm marking certain ones because uh, I actually want to look at a few of those as as we catch up. But we we've got a gap, you know. As as long as this trial is frozen, we have a gap wherein we can talk about what's there and actually catch this case up too. So I think um, if you're a person that's that's kept up with it, hey. Props to you. I appreciate it. I've gotten so many messages from some of you folks telling me, man, you know, you, you should check this out. That's one of the ways that I, I heard about the predator thing. Because somebody was like, yeah, Jeremy actually, um, he was harassed by a, by a predator. And it was like a predator. You know, what, what are you talking about? They're like, yeah, just look through everything. Well, like I said, I went in, I looked that up, and the name just stuck out because the name is on this guy. If you look that name up in it, that that first and last name, one hit. There's only one person with that name. That's why I I felt very confident and and pulling up other information. Yeah, I was sure that was the person people were talking about, and there were a lot of people too that were making comments about that, being like, "Yeah, you know what." what they're doing they're violating you know they're 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 violating because of um what they've been doing on their social media <laughs> and i i, I thought well, what are they talking about because you know nobody nobody added examples and then when i looked at twitter again it's old twitter but still <laughs> The account, some of the people that are tagged in there, and it, you do not bother anyone. Don't even bother the offender there. That's not who you talk to. You talk to law enforcement. You don't talk to a predator. You talk to law enforcement. And the other people, they, they probably have no idea who was trying to make contact with them. But it was a year after offense. And I mean, there's so many fucking weirdos <laughs> that are that are involved in this stuff taking aim and more all right so let's look at this one here hmm. have a great channel thank you i appreciate that ah, madam mayor what's up yeah again i'm catching anybody any of you by the way you are welcome to mail me i cannot say i can respond to everyone but i read everything 
if you send an email to me, I read it. Okay. Um, like I said, I one day in one day, I got a few hundred emails and over time i think i've gotten over 1700 emails over the side so i can't respond to everyone but i'm looking through them all because i want to understand this it's um my email by the way it's an odd one i, I can't even remember why but changing your email that's attached to your youtube is weird you can go to my about part or you can you can message me on twitter I'm at that umbrella. I'm not that umbrella guy. He's a food critic. Please don't <laughs> tell him about predators and stuff. I mean, I think he's already <laughs> endured quite a bit of uh, of insanity in the past. <laughs> but um, you can also email me. My email is two words. Granular, like a grain of sand. Granular, G-R-A-N-U-L-A-R. The other word, again, they all put together, heaven. Granularheaven at gmail.com. Why, I don't know. I don't remember. It was probably back in the day. Um, my channel name has not always been that umbrella guy. I have, a, um, I have an umbrella tattoo on my hand, and I would put up archived videos where I would review something. And, you know, you always get, like, people that troll. And there was this one guy that would always troll them, and he'd be like, oh, I hate you. I can't stand you. And, and one day he, he put up, uh, man, I hate that umbrella guy. That umbrella guy is back again. I was like, that umbrella guy, there it is. <laughs> so I changed it laughing about that. So that's how the name came about. If you think, man, there was some creative, you know, it's just, you know, <laughs> when, when people are like, oh my God, you people are trolls. Eh, maybe, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> but anyway, let's read this together. Sorry. Jeremy almost ran over our sweet little baby. John chased him down the road and was ready to beat Jeremy up. But Bitch Boy had his slave call 911, and we had to put a restraining order on him. And we've been throwing nails all down his driveway and on the side of the road. He drives by our house to stonk me. So they will have a lot of flat tires and won't know why. The house is all, almost done. So you'll have to come take a vacation and see it. And best news from the governor that told me we are getting a grant. <laughs> so again, you know, there are there are a lot of other items that are posted there too. But this one stood out to me because Jeremy had talked about safety of a child. And he, he had pointed out one very, just very absurd statement these people had made and it was about him speeding down the road they said he was going 70 again the type of vehicle and stuff yeah no <laughs> you know short stretch of road no that's that's not going to happen the type of vehicle I, I fully agree that he was not doing but even if even if he was driving let's just say he could get up to Mach 3 why the hell is your four-year-old in the road like the, the little girl that came down here that's a four-year-old okay I, I have a four year. I cannot imagine letting my four year old run wild like that. I don't let my four year old go outside without me being around and monitoring them. I don't let them out of my sight ever. So to imagine them going to the road, I mean, we, we, we have roads close. I cannot imagine the, the dread, the horror that that sinks into my gut, thinking that my kid can run out into a road. What kind of parent would you be to allow that to happen in your child's life? I'm not saying your kid takes off like Pet Cemetery. I don't know if you've ever seen the movie Pet Cemetery style. That, that That's the way, you know, I imagine every parent's nightmare. You know, a little kid, busy road, running out, horrible happens. That That is a parent's worst nightmare. So to imagine, you know, kids running around. And then I started looking at pictures, too, of the property because there are, you know, there are pictures there as well. There are a few that have been posted, you know, talking about, well, this is what cleanup's supposed to be. 
Yeah, I can imagine my kid running around where they could potentially stumble over glass, where they could fall into a, an abandoned uh, refrigerator unit, or where they could stumble over nails that you put in the road. I and mean, if your kid's running around everywhere, I'll tell you too. I, um, in the past, I, I had a, when I was a teenager, I, I, I found out firsthand that nails are not fun to step on. <laughs> I know that's a newsflash to everyone out there, right? Nails are not fun to step on. Your feet and nails, they don't go good together. Uh, I actually was, uh, we were putting up, we were putting up dog runs, you know, where you, you kennel dogs. So we were putting four, we were, re, we were um, modernizing an older shed. And I was walking on a beam and it had um, it has space between it, but I didn't think anything about it. You know, I was just walking along and no big deal. And it, cr it cracked apart because it was old and rotted. And when I went to pick my foot up, I just couldn't pick my foot up. It was like, what the heck? It was like I glued my foot to the ground and it panicked me. I was like, oh, my God, what has happened? You know, so I grabbed my shoestring and it, I yanked it and my foot out at the same time. And I found out that. I had lovingly inserted two nails into my foot. And I will say as a, as a teenager, that was a horrible thing. I cannot imagine putting a child, a little child, in that type of harm's way. And then, I mean, the claiming of stalking and what. I, I've dealt with some crazy before. I've dealt with, you know... <laughs> I, I've I've dealt with a, a crazy neighbor a few times, and <laughs> their level of crazy compared to this. Just, uh, they're also talking about grants and whatnot over turtles. I thought this <laughs> stuff was fascinating. You know, they're going to get a grant for the turtles because of all the great things we have done for them. And we are looking at getting some big cats to rescue soon. Can you imagine these folks with big cats? <laughs> Could you, I mean, you know, what you going to feed them? The wind dixie they deny, by the way. I was looking that up too. They were actually uh, discussion points of the wind dixie food. The old, ugh, this is gross to even imagine. What are you going to feed them, like, old wind dixie maybe your kid <laughs> i mean big cats and a four-year-old i mean hell if you can't keep them out of the road how are you gonna keep them away oh here kitty kitty oh wait it's actually disturbing to me too to think you know i was going through i did a i did a live stream the other day talking about uh talking about this account that it reads just like this it reads just like this kind of mess and again you can check that i'm not going to rehash that but that started out talking about uh, the kid that was there, talking about the four-year-old, saying, oh, he's docs and kids, you know, da, 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 da. And the reality is, you know, because uh, Jeremy had talked about this, we're talking about a four-year-old that's running around in, in filth that's not potty trained. I mean, that's just... I realize people have delays, but here's another thing. And I'm not, again, making the assertion. I don't, I don't know the guy. I'm not diagnosing none of that, but I, in cases of neglect or abuse, you do see milestones severely neglected. There was a case. Um, I don't, it was, it was a huge case. I can't remember the name of the, uh, the girl who is, she escaped a home. She had, um, I think six siblings and, she had called the police because her parents were chaining her to her, her and her siblings to uh, beds. And one of the things, though, in that, what she understood, her language milestones weren't there. She didn't know things like medicine. She didn't know what medication meant. And I, I've seen that in practice before. I've seen people that are so verbally stunted. And in a case like you, you, you know, you should know thousands of words at a specific age. A child may know a hundred. You know that stuff that should be that should be very concerning. And I hope, <laughs> I hope, when proper authorities look at this kind of stuff, 
they look at everything that's being said from their side too. Now it, it's fascinating looking at their spin too. So I've been looking at some documents, you know, I've been looking at quite a few of them and one document in particular kind of caught my eye because it talks, it's actually the claims of, you know, I, I want to, there, there are three documents that I'd like to cover over time. And again, I know this, this will be rehash for some people. That's okay. If that's not for you, that that's all right. I want to look at, give me one second. I want to look at the sanctions papers. I thought they were interesting. The attachments for sanctions. And I wanted to look at the uh, motion. Which one is it? Let me get the name correct. The third motion to disqualify the judge. Today, though, I actually want to focus on a letter that attaches to what we're discussing here. Give me one second. I'm going to pull this up. Okay. This talks about, this is from Lynette. This is a supplemental that is attached, and it's her describing some of the things that supposedly are going on. And I thought that, I, I don't know, I just find this stuff fascinating because like Larry said when we talked to him, typically, you know, you have a version from one person, version from another person, and then the truth somewhere in the middle. Here, however, it's more like you have the version from the Hales, you have this, cr the craziest assertions <laughs> I've read. And I feel like, yeah, the, the truth, again, you're going to forget things. You're going to omit certain things. So, I mean, you're not going to 100% hammer everything. But when you read that version of the truth that is posted and stuff like this, uh, yeah. And I mean, this doesn't even get into the 15 to 16 categories. I mean, just listen to this stuff. Dear Judge, I am writing and entering this supplemental report to ask to please give me an ex parte temporary order of protection. This is how we pop off with that, right? While we wait to get a court date to make it permanent against Jeremy Hale and because it escalated to cyber stalking. Give me one second here. This is not working out because this is escalated to cyber stalking and abuse. To the level that is terrifying myself and my family. Give me one minute. This stuff is not situating. My page is messing up. Give me one minute. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to uh, readjust this. Excuse me a second. Okay. Sorry. Now she claims that pictures and stuff are fake. You know. She's like, they've created false Facebook pages. I apologize for that. I had to pull it down for a second because it wouldn't, sometimes the, the thing won't roll. It gets stuck and it got stuck. You know, that, that's a stream yard issue. They said they've created false fake book, Facebook pages. Now, here's a fascinating little thing. I'm curious, have any of you actually looked for pages because so far i believe i've found 16 that belong to this person and there are some of them that i cannot prove of course i, I can't prove that they're theirs but there are a lot out there and these are just ones that either utilize the name, they have specific spin to them, or they have been um, they have been documented. What what I've been trying to do is I've been trying to go through known ones. I'm also, I'm looking for evidence that's been missed too. You know, um, I'm looking for things that I'm looking through the archives. Wayback Machine is. <sighs> there's probably not a lot that's going to be in the Wayback Machine. Wayback Machine normally catches things that are that are huge. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a, it's a huge account or a huge event. It has to be big enough for it to take a portrait of it. That's what the Wayback Machine does. It takes portraits 
of that moment. So if there's a if there's a large account out there, possibly, but smaller accounts, every now and then they get caught. But typically what you'll find is that somebody that was interested, they've they've archived. And again, if you don't know archiving, I went all over that in the live stream where I, I taught it was two live streams back. Talked about how to archive again, archive.fo. That's all you got to do. There's two links there. Put check and see if it's there. If it's not, put it, archive it. Archive it is evidence. But I'm curious how many accounts have actually been been found. Oh, got a kid coming back. Give me one minute. What are you doing? Are you, my eyes. Are you covering your eyes. Why are you walking with your eyes closed? I can see I opened my eyes a little bit and oh. see where I'm going. No, oh, you were just opening them just enough to see where you're going? Um, I op closed them or opened them. Oh, yeah. Well, you be careful peek doing that. Yeah, you peek a booed all right. You know? peek a boo peek a boo You were like, peek a -boo. You were like, peek a boo I ran into you. Right? No, peek a -boo. Yeah? Yeah. Hey, I did say that once. You didn't say that once? Yeah. I, I just heard you say it. Peek-a-boo. <laughs> okay, well, go peek-a-boo. Go play for a little bit. Love peek -a -boo. you. Peek-a-boo. Yeah, I pe you peek-a-booed right up behind me. Peek-a-boo. Yeah, I heard you. Okay, love you. I like your dad catcher. I know, I know you love me. I love dad catcher you. <laughs> oh, oh, you love me and you you love what? You love candy? Is that what you said? No, I love dad catcher and you. Oh, okay. Well, I appreciate that you love me, too. I appreciate that I'm right up there with um, <laughs> with peeps and cotton candy. <laughs> and, and that you every day. Okay. All right. Thank you, baby. Love you. <laughs> she's like, I love. She, she's like, yeah. I was like, I love you. And she's like, well, I, I, I love cotton candy and I love peeps and, and I love you. I was like, well. At least I register right with peeps and cotton candy, right? <laughs> uh, she she cannot, uh, you know, her, at her age, she she can't like read sentences and all this stuff. She can't see the chat. The chat I've got it on my phone. I, I watch the chat. I watch you guys on my my device here because my uh, my internet can't handle it out in the out in the sticks, <laughs> you know. So I watch it on a device. It's funny, like when I look at my phone bill. It's like, yeah, you know, uh, you spent an ungodly amount of time on your phone on YouTube. And it's like, yeah, that's live streaming. <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. Give me one second. I got to this back. Oh, my Lord. The kids crack me up, though. I mean, she's, a, like I said, she's four. And again, that's, that's why a lot of this, you know, it. It really resonates me again on a different level. We, we talk about the law and we talk about the absurdity to some of this stuff. Yet I can't imagine my kid living. I can't imagine feeling comfortable with my kid potentially running out on a road or something. That's just craziness. Or again, there were accusations about, you know, the um, the person that that she's with actually being a, a monster and after you know noting that and after having separation still them having contact that's just but she goes on to say they created a false facebook uh, page or post to look like my facebook page and on that they've been writing hate messages making it look like I'm doing it. They are inciting a riot to their followers. A riot, mind you. They're inciting a riot. <laughs> I'm going to say, again, nothing against small towns. Like I said, I, I've, I've lived in plenty. I don't feel like I live in a giant place here. But in an area that has 70 to 100 people, what exactly is a riot? <laughs> you know, you have like five reporters pop up. Oh, my God, it's a riot. Not only that, but I mean, on her Facebook, you know, she's given messages to 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 one person, 
on that. So with people actually putting eyes on it, it's just, it's strange. There, Some of those words are in here, by the way. Okay, so she's denying that she said these things. And these words are in this thing. You know, I, I, uh, I figure the algorithm, like I said, will hate me for putting this up here. I didn't want the message like just totally being like right here. There's these two giant words, but it's in here too. Okay. <laughs> and she's going to deny saying those words. Okay. So the riot, these followers have now threatened me under their God to do harm to my family. They are threatening to Baker act John and I to take us away in handcuffs so that my child can be taken. They've created false posts that they are sending to the judge in Ohio, trying to get that judge to give us that, uh, to give us that no contact order that you would not deserve and are saying we have already violated it by sending these fake messages to people that are now sharing them with them. Again, we've not spoken to anyone online or otherwise about them this is a this is a court document okay when i'm running over some of these messages these words i, I would at least bleep these words myself and again i'm not i'm not even going to say these things okay in the post mr hales claims that i've called him a let's say a uk cigarette boy and his girlfriend a well sand and you know the rest of that one and your honor, he is the one who created it, not me. The message is, the message is now along with an entirely created post or message I've never made or said. He's making up his own stories now because I have followed the advice of a deputy, took down my private page. So his moles, <laughs> uh, I did like after he mentioned moles, by the way. I started looking through all the posts that mentioned moles and it is amazing how many times these folks mention moles, you know, <laughs> mole traps. That's actually kind of funny. So his moles could no longer steal my content and change it to fit their hate and anger. This is why I say again here, right here is why I say that you archive this because when you archive something, it is undeniably theirs. I mean, it's undeniably there, at least. You can, you can credit it to the page that it came from. You'll have a URL. You'll have everything else. And if it needs to go further, you can pull up who's behind it. And, and again, uh, there are some people that would be able to hide who they were. But I'm just... I'm not, I think these folks could probably make a, a a fake account, but I don't think they're going to be very good at hiding where they're posting from. You know, just I, I got this gut feeling that they're they're probably not the most sophisticated people in the world when it comes to to Internet use. Now, then they play up the cultist video. Very satanic. I see these. Oh, I got kids. One second. Yeah, I got yes, Squidward. I like Squidward. Uh -huh. Such pop and okay. All right. Hey, you've got to go play though, okay? I I'm reading something and it's about it's about some bad people, okay? It's about very bad people, okay? Okay. And you don't need to hear the very bad things they say. Okay. All right. Hey dad, you have to read <laughs> What was that? I say red bell bells. Like that. Were you saying it creepy voice? Yeah. You were saying it's very scary. Open. Can you say it that way? They're scary. Scary. <laughs> Not that good voice. Uh, that is very open good. Open the voice. whole thing. I can't see like yes, that. She brought me a yogurt to open. She has a gogurt. She can't open it herself. That's why she came down here. She wants a gogurt. Here you go, baby. Thank like money is here. Yeah, it's a Squidworth one, too. All right. All right. Is that better now? Okay, take that up. Hey, if you want to watch your TV for a few minutes, you can, okay? And you can play in your kitchen. Your kitchen, not the real kitchen. Your kitchen, okay? <laughs> Making that very clear. Your toy kitchen, okay? I like the 
seeing you. All right. Well, oh, you're watching me. Okay. Well, I'm watching you too. <laughs> she did the, she pointed at her eyes and she pointed back toward me. She's like, I'm watching you. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> you're watching me. I got you. Mm. See, I said, my, with, with kids, again, they're, they're going to bring up kids, fear and all of this. If my kids have need, they come to me. You notice that? Like, she she likes the microphone, too. She loves the idea. Oh, microphone, microphone. <laughs> but um, on top of that, they come to me with every need. They don't. They wouldn't. I can't imagine my kid, like, opening the front door or doing anything like that. They wouldn't. They know better. They know basic safety. <sighs> But anyway, Your Honor, I'm absolutely terrified for my family and child. His friend, this tat, Greaves, has made a video of my baby daughter. And in the video, which was a cultist video, very satanic. <laughs> it was a very satanic. I need to see the very satanic cult video, by the way. A very satanic cult video. They made the statement right on the screen, which I have sent you, that we're coming to take Harley away. Ha ha. It's your, it is your honor, disgraceful and disgusting, using my child, which he is obviously obsessed with, to abuse us and stonk us and cause his fans to want to hurt us. He is using pictures of her diaper area and insinuating false lies to the community that I'm throwing dirty diapers all over the community, which are proven to not even be ours at all. Now, again, when you see this, I think this fits up with what I was saying in my, my other video too, looking at that one profile that made, um, that made claims that he was doxing little kids. And then on top of that, some of the other claims that were made with uh, with some of those accounts, if, if they are not this specific person, they they have again. I I cannot say with one hundred percent certainty that 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 person. All right, but they have a lot of similar writing style, all the similar accusations. It's just crazy. It, what's also crazy is they make the um, that they make the accusation that the Hales spend all their time online. Oh my God, they spend all what kind of uh, they run a business online. People who do this stuff for free. I, I've never understood the people. And I'm not talking about people who enjoy content or anything like that. Obviously, I'm talking about people that that stalk and do craziness. It's for free. Oh my gosh, she's bringing something else. <laughs> what are you bringing now? Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot about those for you. Yeah, I bought those for you too. Yeah, those are yours. Those are yours. She at first, um, she is an eating machine too. She's on a growth spurt, aren't you? You are. You, you are an eating machine. You are. I have never seen. It is like watching a. It is like watching a. a a grocery store car just roll you. through. Well, you're not eating me. No, <laughs> that doesn't sound fun at all. <laughs> Maybe I need to kick up your diet if you're gonna try to eat me. Crazy. <laughs> no, I don't think we. I, I wouldn't be very digestible. I wouldn't taste very good. I would taste you good. I would take the caffeine. Hey, and what's that? What's that? Uh. What's that song about the the fish that that bites my finger so? My fish, you my fish brush you. Yeah, I don't remember how that song goes. Um, my. I would bite caught, my finger so. I know. I caught a fish. It <laughs> bit my finger right back in the water. It was right here. I think you just made those lyrics up. <laughs> hey, it's just a song of a little fish. You're not the one. I know. It's a good song. You did a great one. 
but I, I think you just made some lyrics up. <laughs> I can't do you. I can't right, you, 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 hey, let me cover this for real, okay? Come on. Now, you go play and have fun, and we'll watch something in a little bit, okay? <laughs> uh, I again live streams are like this some days I, I i'll lose control for a few minutes <laughs> yes, that's Papa TV. All right. hey, you can go watch spongebob on tv ask sissy to pull up spongebob if you want to watch spongebob ask her to pull it up i don't um that's a good idea like ask her she'll do it for you if you want to watch spongebob and remember um in two weeks if everything's good and you do everything, we'll get what is that a fish with a SpongeBob aquarium? I know you want a fish. <laughs> this stuff here, like, like I said, you're reading about the diapers, the conditions. I just hmm. these fake posts. That they are creating and putting out to their followers it has grown into something that he is making it look like we are trying to make a conspiracy to hurt him and his wife. And we are not. He is making these people literally believe it with these false postings that he is making. I could only photocopy one page of it. Photocopy. Oh, yeah, because she's putting her own stuff out there. I forgot. I was like, photocopy. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. She's supplying her own stuff. My bad. My bad on that. To photocopy one page of it because the rest would not come through. He did, he did it knowing that I'd be able to screenshot it. That's why he did it in blue with white writing. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute. You can't screenshot it. You notice that I had a screenshot, right? I mean, notice the blue with raw. You notice I screenshot that and showed it to you. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you can photocopy it. You can photocopy it and it will show up. It's actually pretty simple to do. So the idea that you can't screenshot something like that, that's absurd too. Would not come through. He did it knowing that I wouldn't be able to. It's insane, Your Honor, that he's doing this. I've never met any woman in a battered women's shelter. I've never gotten money from any woman in a batter battered, in a batter battered women's shelter. I've never been to one. I'm not getting big cats. The governor is not going to give us a grant. Not one word. That he has posted in that fake post is real. Not one thing. But that is cyber stalking. That is what cyberbullying and stalking is. If this uh, cyber stalking and cyberbullying and stalking law wasn't written for me, I don't know who it was written for. Could you imagine giving someone orders based on any of this? My Lord. What Mr. Hale is doing is horrific. And he has no one, no care for the law. I've included in my packet screenshots of what these people are posting. He's telling them to call the sheriff's office on us. You will look at it and you will see the stop red circle with the line through it and the cell phone. When YouTubers do that, they are saying, make these calls, make the call. That's how they tell them to make the call without getting in trouble. I'm going to the sheriff's office to find out how many calls have come into them and leave the county. So apparently people calling the sheriff's department <laughs> with concerns would be a bad thing. We're not talking about false. I've been on the end, uh, receiving end of false police reports. Been there, done that, had it supersized. It's not fun. <laughs> With this stuff, I mean, they're putting up signs that, that definitely exist. I mean, you can see part of this stuff on their properties. You can see videos of the way that they've responded to stuff. <sighs> it's just craziness.
Jerry has told his fans on many, many videos, which I have, and in a court hearing, I can show you, but I need the protection now for to keep my baby safe. But I have the videos where he says outwardly, if you're not calling CPS, I don't know why. So he tells his followers these lies and then tells them to call CPS. He also has said outwardly himself that he's made many calls to CPS, Child Protective Services. Now, he actually talked about that, too. And he said, you know, he had called because of uh, he had not made many calls, nor was he telling other people to call CBS. He said, you know, he had uh, concerns about a child's safety, which is understandable. I mean, if you look again, if you just look at some of just uh, the, the property itself, if you look at conditions, I mean, you can you can see, yeah, there would be some issues there for sure. I've also called the sheriff. His followers did a SWAT on us. On the deputy cop, a SWAT on us. We've also had an attempting SWAT at one time. Again, no SWAT. We don't have a, I mean, we do have a SWAT team, I suppose, but that, that's not really how that works unless there's a specific items that fall into that a wellness check is not a swatting well you know you're not sending out a swat team or even attempting a swatting with a wellness check there and, and you know here's the other thing too with swatting there's another component it's an unidentified party trying to send out police to let's just say end you a wellness check because of conditions and more. That's, that's not the same thing. They've also called the sheriff to a SWAT. Deputy Cobb came and told us what they had said, said. He knew us and that he knew it wasn't real, so he didn't send the SWAT team. Uh, do you ever are you ever amazed that this is a court document again this would bother me so much if i turned this in as part of a case would this not bother you i mean if you were to you were to you were involved in a um a legal dispute and you decided that you were going to put in some kind of a report wouldn't you want something that if you couldn't write again <laughs> Not everyone is going to be literate. <laughs> Not everyone is going to be able to, uh, to compile some amazing message. But you would think that people might take their time to, I don't know, put something together and <laughs> make it at least make sense. Have someone else read it. Maybe some, I don't know, a friend. <laughs> I have no idea. He also has had someone call in and they spoke with Deputy Cobb and told them that they were a friend of mine and that I was reporting on my reptile rescue page that was going to injure myself or someone else. Um, unfortunately, Deputy Cobb believed these lies and came out to investigate and I assured him that this was a lie. That's a wellness check, by the way. And that I didn't know that person, but he unfortunately insinuated that the man seemed very trustworthy. I believe that man was Jeremy Hale. I've never spoken to anyone about hurting myself or hurting others. They're, they're risking doing all of this for money to anyone I've never spoken to anyone about hurting myself or hurting others. Hell's risk. God, it's locked up again. Give me one second. I hate that. I apologize. It's it's not rolling. You notice it stopped rolling. One minute. It's almost there. I've almost got it. I love the lives there. I love the fact that <laughs> I love the fact that technology betrays you and everything else. I'm not the only one they're doing this to. They were abusing. They gave a whole name of a bunch of people who sold them their land. We are all being abused in one way or another. 
and they all have been to the sheriff's office last week to beg for help to protect them. Everything I sent your honor shows the fact they're being terrorized by a man, his girlfriend, and his followers. This morning, I got a call, and the voice was raspy. And it said, get out of town, bitch, bye. And hung up from a private number. I, I don't know. You, you, I'm not, I don't doubt that people do make comments. I am not encouraging that at all, by the way. I cannot tell you some of the things that I have messaged to me or that, um, you know, have been called to my old phone number, <laughs> you know, one that I had not changed for like, I guess, at least 13 years <laughs> and changed that phone number. So, you know, people found it and they call, I can't even tell you what people will message you, but that doesn't link back to the deeds of a certain person. Like, again, I, I can't control what other people do. It's crazy. That anyone would think you could. Again, you know, I, I noticed uh, the hell say, hey, don't contact this person. And, and they've mentioned that in videos, too. You know, there was somebody in one of the court hearings, for example, there was somebody that arrived and they were removed. And, and the hell said, you know, from now on, we're, we're not going to be able to talk about when our court hearings are happening because someone come in, they, they, they perhaps disrupt. And that's that's not good for us. So they're not asking for disruption. You know, it, it is. It's amazing to to catalog your life. So I, I do that to a degree. I talk about things that happen in my day. You know, we have interruptions with real life and more sometimes. I don't blog my life. But when you do, when you start looking at things, if you capture insanity in that, I mean, is that really the fault of the person with the camera? Or is that perhaps a, um, a call to... I don't know, review your life and to think maybe, maybe I'm doing something that's absolutely insane. I don't know. Lynette can't even control herself. <laughs> I'm begging the court to grant me a temporary order of protection. Again, this the reason I brought this up was because it mentioned those texts that I was looking through. Until we get into court and further prove my case. I can't leave my home with my child. I cannot walk down the road to push her in her stroller because of the number of vehicles that are now going down the road, our once empty road. They videotape me every day, and Mr. Hell has ordered them to video every day and send them the videos that also is on video. Well, first of all, the road doesn't belong to them. <laughs> You're you're what now? I'm going to eat you now. Did you bring a did you take bring a space gun down here? No, that is just a normal gun really. Yeah, that's yeah. a that's a bug catching gun. That's a vacuum gun. I love vacuum guns. I know, but hey, don't turn that on over here. <laughs> you take that upstairs. Hey dad. She brought a bug catcher. Hey, that's here. it's a vacuum gun. I know. You oh, you you're wild. You. You're going to suck me into that and tuck me away. Yeah. That's crazy. I uh, go back you up. <laughs> you are wild today. Hey, go upstairs for a few minutes and then you can come right back down. Okay. Let me finish. Yeah. Hey, let me read this part right here. And then you can come back down here and talk to me on this, on the live stream. If you want, okay. You seem to want to talk on the live stream. So we'll talk. Okay. We... Hey, go, hey. go do me a favor. Go get me a one drink for me. Okay. Can you, give me... you want to know? I want a sun drop. Can you give me a sun drop? That's that yellow looking one. There's two of them on one of those ringers. Can you get it for me? It's sitting up by the um by the food pantry. It's sitting right out in front. There's only two of them attached. All right, I'm gonna read this room. <laughs> Let's see. I'm right here. I'm begging for this uh protection. Someone's going to end up dead in this situation. If somebody doesn't help me, he is going to send a fan to off us, I'm going to say, or he's going to off us, or he's going to come down to our property and try to hurt us. It's going to end, um, and it's going to end up dead. 
And it's all for nothing for a YouTube channel video that he gets paid for. Isn't it wild? Somebody moves out. They do all of this stuff. And then, I mean, it's wild to think where this started. They moved there because of the prayer. And now they're like, oh, well, well, no, no, wait a minute. No, we don't want that attention anymore. There's so much more that I'm leaving out. And all I can uh, do is give you the paperwork that I have and hope you can see it Hope you can read everything and see the hate that he is inciting in people and give and getting them to do violence toward me and my child and John Cook. Please help us, Your Honor, by granting this temporary order, please. These things are getting bigger and bolder. And Governor DeSantis is involved in CPS, as I said. Please help us. Governor DeSantis is involved. huh? Mm, man, the governor themselves is involved. DeSantis. That's amazing. I mean, again, this is just a supplemental. And, and the only reason I bring that up, I, I, I've i been reading through anything I get my hands on. Like I said, there are a lot of screenshots out there, a lot of stuff that has been posted, a lot of proof. There is a lot of proof out there. But some of this, I mean, the one, the one, uh, the one item I do want to read through I'm not going to do it tonight, but the one item I do want to read through is that 61-page report. Now I want to start looking at the uh, the in-court video <laughs> because some of that stuff is so absolutely just off the hook wild. I don't know. Also, if anybody, if if you're looking, you know, the, the subject we started talking about at the beginning, that predator involved, if you find more accounts and, and things, I'm I saw some actions that are disturbing, and yeah, I'd like to see how active that actually is. What's I can't that? find it. Okay, you want to come over here and talk to me for a minute? Since you, uh, I want the gloves, son. Gloves? These are little skeleton gloves. Where'd you get these? I found them myself in the kitchen. You did? You found them in the kitchen. They're pretty cool. Here, put your hand in. Can you put your hand in there? Let's see. Oh, that finger is in the wrong finger. Oh, here. It's okay. We'll fix it. You're all good. You're good. There you go. You got that one? Put your finger there. There you go. I'm putting a glove on. We're helping. Oh, a skeleton glove. Oh, man. I'm going to say again. You are very scary with those here. Oh. You want to help me read Super Chats? Yeah. You do. They're money. That's one of your favorite things, monies, right? Yeah, money. You okay. love the monies, right? Tell people. Yeah. You want to help me read them? Yes. Okay, I'll see. I'll see what's appropriate, hey, and then I'll go through that. This one's not filled up. Not appropriate. Hey, one's this, this one's not filled up. Okay, well, let's... Um, let's wait. Oh, you, oh, yeah, you got two fingers in there. Oh, your fingers are all over the place, Joe. Here. I'm just laughing. There you go. Here. I know, you're laughing. That's silly, isn't it? Hey, that one's not filled. No, it's because your thumb. You got to put it in the thumb hole. There you go. Perfect, right? No, I'm so good. Yeah, now you got some scary fingers, right? No, I'm watching well. I'm my yeah, hand. Yeah. You want to sit with me for a minute? Yes, I want me. <laughs> you want to help me uh, say hi to people again? You know? Um, I want to do some money, Sid. <laughs> hey, Dad, I get you... a lot of chats. I need hey, more what? chats. Yeah, I see the chats. You want to say, hey, you want to come over here? There's Ruth. You want to say, Ruth, thank you for the membership? Thank you for the money, Blue. <laughs> <laughs> I got her blue. Yeah, you did good there. Like say, Jesus. He say bad vibes. Thank bad you. Vibes. Says hail the unsinkable tugger knots. <laughs> can you say thank you? Thank you. Hey, don't yell. That'll be loud if you get anywhere near the mic. It'll hurt the people's ears. Thank you. Can you say thank you, fallen hero? Thank you, fallen hero. For the gifted membership. I don't huh? take your headphones off. No, don't take my headphones off. I can't hear. Hmm. Uh, look, it's Gil. Gil asks, thanks for five. Can you say thanks, Gil? Thank you, Gil. Says, I'm on the right channel. <laughs> I, think Yay, I think you're talking Gil. about <laughs> uh, I think you're talking about my magical past. Yes. Apparently I've been accused I of many things. I've, I've been accused of being a I, woodworker, time traveler. I don't, don't <laughs> trap my hand. I can't grab thing when you check. Okay. Well, can you say thank you, Wanderdust? Thank you, Wanderdust. Thank you for the gifted membership. 
Thank you for the gift and message. There you go. Thank you, Renee, for five gifted memberships. Thank you. Yeah, that was nice of her, right? Yeah. Can you say thank you to Theresa? Theresa, love you. Yeah, <laughs> love you. Oh, there's Wander Dust again. Can you say thank you again? Thank you again. Yeah, that's how we do it there. Oh, man, look, Sandra D, five gifted memberships. Can you say thank you for five gifted memberships? Thank you. Yep. Hey, Dad, this thing yep. is stuck in my glove. It's stuck in your glove? Oh, it's a tag, yeah. Well, it's supposed to be in your glove. It's it's always inside the glove. Yeah, there, you can have it out. We'll cut it out later, okay? And cut it out if you want. Can you say thank you to Lee Munger Bear? Dad, you disappeared the thing today. Yeah. Look, I disappeared. Yeah, that's, that's my cord for my headphones. Can you say thank you for the five gifted membership? Yeah, you! <laughs> You're a nut today. Can you say thank you to Kathy for the gifted, or for the, uh, for becoming a member? Yeah! She's a brand new member. Wow, that's awesome there. I'm going to skip a couple and I'll come back to any comment, okay? There's just a couple. <laughs> Kathy, thanks for the five. Thank you, Tuck, for uh, helping with the hells. Well, can you say, well, thank you for being here? I can't swash you. Okay. Hey, you didn't give me a drink. Will you go get my drink real quick? I need a drink. I need Yo, a... come with me, please. I'll come back to you in a few minutes, okay? Let's see. Deborah. Deborah. Oh, snap. Doug's doing research. <laughs> it's evidence. Done. Yeah, there's there's a lot of evidence out there of stuff like this. Again, there's a, a lot tag, of accounts. A, a lot of them. Thank you. One more thing I've touch it. And it all needs to be archived. Give me five. Thanks. Thank you. It's so more money. Oh, look, Sandra. Can you say thanks for the five? She gave you candy money. Thank she, you. She said, here's the candy fund. I have some candy money. Yeah, candy for you, you know. And lollipop for me, too. Lollipops? You like lollipops? Yeah. Give uh, me the lollipop. <laughs> I know you hide <laughs> that lollipop. <laughs> Then I can't swatch you anymore. I have some Take Sissy a lollipop. I'll give you an extra one, too. Here, come back. Which one? There's, what color do you think she'll like? Maybe red. The red? Yeah. Here, take her this color. Then, take her that one. Um, I want the popsicle. Well, go get a popsicle, then. If you want a popsicle, go in one. I'll open one, please. I want the red one with the... <laughs> okay. Go get a popsicle. Hurry. Here, I'll bring up... Uh, it my hand. Yep. But I hey. Orphan, thanks for the fun. Okay, well, rep Karen Berg wants to make it law to give uh, these, yeah, certain uh, dolls, let's say. She went upstairs. She's not here. To uh, predators. How sick is that? You know, what's, what's scary about that that statement there is there, <laughs> she was like, well, there's document. I saw the clip for that. She was like, there's documented evidence that that helps. No, there's not. There is not. You are enabling terrible stuff that is that is awful that is beyond awful i agree i'm seeing if there's any um who sent me an email with juicy reports okay i'll check that out too hey, oh, jeremy had his hey, sunday live i'll be up hey, guys, on my <clears throat> I still want the blood still i'm not come. sure when everybody's lives pops up hey, so. You know, I'm in the super chat too. part, and I'm I'm playing with the kids. So, <laughs> if uh, you want to check out the live, go and check it out. Again, I, one of the unfortunate things about live streaming is when, when you live stream. I have a specific time I live stream so, too, so you know I don't. Uh, I, hey, I, Dad, you need to put blobs up for your face. I try not to live stream over anyone, but in this specific <laughs> block, that's typically when I live stream, and I try to be uh, cognizant of other people. I, you know, like like Larry does a lot of live streaming. I try not to ever stream over friends at the same time like i said you know you're streaming a certain Papa, block and if if you enjoy them check them out Papa, you know Papa. oh come here come here you're heavy hey give me that hey jeffrey <laughs> child out for ice cream or whatever your favorite dessert is oh he gave you ten dollars for ice cream you like ice cream yeah. Hey, hey, what about what about frog legs? You want to get frog legs? No. <laughs> I want to You want to tell them about how we went to we went and uh, we had frog legs the other day? No, I didn't have frog legs. I had dancing waffles. Yeah, you had dancing waffles. But did we go? Did they have frog legs at the store? Yes. Yeah. What did you think about that? Um, 
Mom, I don't like frogs. <laughs> give it a one. Yeah, you gave it a one. Yeah, I get the death and one for uh, a she's, ten. She's like, I, we, I get the death and one for like ten. Oh, you, you, you give dancing waffles. She calls waffles dancing waffles. That's her favorite thing. So you give waffles a 10 and you give frog legs a 1? Okay. You won. <laughs> you won. You are such a... I did. I'm getting more comments. Yeah. I know there's a bunch of comments. Sandra, thanks for the two there. People have auto Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, you got you to jump in. Take your, take your popsicle over that way. It's going to melt over here. I don't want to melt it on, on the microphone or something. Hey, take it upstairs for a minute. We'll watch. After I finish this, we'll watch a show. You want to watch a show? Yes? Yeah? You want to watch a show? Get quiet. Get quiet. Yeah. Oh, I will be. Love you. <laughs> it's Sunday. We get the craziness. Let me, let me finish these here. Diane, really thanks for the 20. Bad. This needs all the eyes. Hey, indeed, it needs a lot. We followed what the hell is for a while. And they're really good people. The great tug. Actually, I've been doing a lot of research into them, and I think they uh, you like my... beyond their good deeds and anything else. You see? Go, go upstairs, though. Yeah, go upstairs. <laughs> Gonna melt that thing over here. Otherwise, she's got a she got a uh, rocket pop, and I want to. I don't want to wear it. <laughs> so I was like, <laughs> but no, they 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 do a lot of good. I've noticed that they have detractors like anybody too. And, you know, I look through their detractors and it's the same crap you always see from people. You see the, well, you're not doing, they don't do it for the right reason. They don't do that. Who, who cares? Who cares what the reason if people give out money and they help out charity. I don't particularly care why they do it. I think they do it for the right reason, but if that's your best go to, well, my point is, even if it wasn't, if people are out there doing good in the world, what is the problem? What's the problem? There is no problem with it. Debbie, I'll check that email out too. Thank you for the two there. I caught that one, Jeffrey. Thank you. Froggy girl, thanks for the end. How was she even able to adopt that little girl? Good question. I have friends that went through the process. They have every aspect of their life looked at, including finances. She does not deserve that child. Well, I, I can't, I can't fathom how all of that was put together. I don't, I don't know the particulars. And again, I, I can't comment <laughs> on what they evaluated. When I look at this, though, one of the things that I feel, and I feel this a lot, systems fail children. I feel, you know, there's always talk about a progressive society. And when I say that, I talk about advanced. I don't mean like a particular social or political view, just progressive society. If your society is truly progressive, you can measure it on how they take care of their most vulnerable. You know, we take care of the mentally ill, take care of the physically ill, we take care of the elderly, and we take care of children. And I feel like we fail a lot of times, way too often. And that is a problem. <laughs> Shield Maiden, thanks for the vibe. SpongeBob fish tank. Yes, we are going to have one. Oh, there's the fish song. We'll have to sing the fish song. <laughs> I like that fish song. I want, her, I want her to sing it. Yeah, it's the one, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. <laughs> Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so. Which finger did it bite? This little finger on my right. Yes, thank you. I could not remember the lyrics to that. It's a song we used to sing all the time. Rachel, thanks for the 16 months. Enjoying these days, Doug. I enjoy them. Yeah, they fly by. Never be sorry for pausing in the girls' prayer. Oh, no. When I say that, I apologize, but eh, I'm not really sorry about it. To be honest, too, I have a door that separates. That's how I know they're coming. I can, I can hear that. The door locks, but I do not want to ever lock myself off from my kids. Not with that. Again, you know, if I'm like a like I'm taking a conference or something like that, maybe I have to. But otherwise, I, I want to be, you know, I want to be able to be available, and I want to want to enjoy those moments. There's not enough. I mean, you're right. They go fast. Legally live. Thank you for the gift. Didn't legally live. I'll look you up. 
by the way. Channel? I, there's so many channels out there. I, I, like I said, I, I've been introduced to a lot of other channels and folks, and I like that. You know, it's, it was fascinating. I, I, I run in all these circles with all the lawyers goof off, and, you know, they, just like Megan Fox, they, uh, how you know, they're, they're, they're gracious in, you know, having us all on when they talk about law because every point of view is different, but it's kind of fun to, to see everything from the law perspective, you know, and, and there's so many different types of lawyers, you know, some, uh, we know maritime lawyers and, uh, you know, corporate lawyers, Florida based lawyers, actually one of the Florida based lawyers, I was talking to them about the, uh, the laws there. Maybe I'll have a Florida based lawyer on. You know, think about that. Maybe I'll get a Florida-based lawyer on and they can talk about because I one thing I really wanted to discuss with a Florida-based lawyer was the uh the idea of not being able to get that order of protection. You know, they've got to they've got to commit this crime and that crime and more crimes. And I I find that to be a detestable notion. It just it doesn't it doesn't compute with me, you understand? Heather? Thanks for the five. They need electric fences. Best cameras they can find. This is ridiculous. I wonder, you know, I was thinking trail cams. We used to use trail cams to catch poachers. You know, we get them out on my grandfather's land. They come in and uh, poachers are awful because they'll come in and they're dangerous, first of all, to yourself or whomever, like maybe walking, working. But beyond that, and livestock, we've actually had... Uh, we had a couple of poachers come in one time um, with my uh, grandfather's land and the neighbors, they crossed over to the neighbor's area and they shot a few of their cows and one of their dogs. They did it just for kicks. It just tells you how awful some people are. So we, uh, you know, we put up trail cams. The trail cams pick up on I know, just what people are doing out there. and. I I'd wonder. I was thinking maybe trail cams would work out for them. <sighs> Megan Fox is awesome. Yeah, I like uh, Megan Fox. She's actually a. Uh, she actually, she's funny. <laughs> she's beyond that. She's she's got the the right points for all of this. I also. I appreciate like Larry and Megan on that. Uh, I, <laughs> for a little while. For you to, I was just, I, again, I'm not mentioning this to be blah or anything. I'm just I, mentally, I was in a funk for a hot minute. And, you know, they were like, hey, here's something. Check this out. This will get your mind rolling. And it did. So I appreciate it. You know, when my mind's busy, it's it's at its best place. I like that. Carol, thanks for the two. For the cutest baby umbrella girl. Thank you. I'll give that to her for sure. Renee, what's up? Thanks for the 10 there. Her cotton candy fund. <laughs> she, uh, oh, my Lord. You should see her with cotton candy. It is the funniest thing ever. She'll be apples. That's awesome. I'm going to look at the super sticker. It's still up there. Give me one second. I like that. You're amazing. You're amazing. And, you know, I, like I said, I appreciate you folks. I, I really... I had planned on going over an entire order today, you know, just talking about everything that was in that. But I, I didn't want to do that with this subject because really what I wanted to do is point a finger at a predator and to say that when, you know, those accusations are are horrible accusations. And Jeremy Hill had those pointed directly at him. He was called a predator. I mean, you really think about that. Meanwhile, on the other side of that, people that are taking aim at the man, they really are predators. So, I mean, when you, when, when you, you really drink that in and you think about it, it it's, it's, it's kind of maddening, isn't it? So I wanted to point out, again, these accusations, you know, there, there were, there were, I'm going to call them detractors. They were saying, oh, you know, words like that. I actually found a statement where somebody had pointed at uh, Jeremy Hale and, and said that he accused somebody of being a predator. So I was like, hmm. So I did a search. I did Jeremy Hale 
Predator. And that was the hit on it. That was the hit. And they were, you know, they were pointing a finger at him, essentially saying some of these accounts, when I when I bring this stuff up, I, I want to make something clear, too. I'm not going to bring up every I believe like what he said about bringing certain people into the spotlight. You know, you don't want to give certain people more attention than they merit. So I'm not going to bring up every detractor or anything like that. But when I was looking through detractors, again, just to see, I always like to get a gauge of the community, like the community that, uh, that they're in now, where they're at. I wanted to see how it all is. I just wanted to see everything. And I was also checking down uh, fake accounts. <laughs> That's <laughs> one of the they I'm not trying to to look for a ha gotchas or anything. I'm looking for fake accounts is what I'm looking for more than anything. But I also I I did want to see how people responded to some of these nasty allegations. And they responded the way they should. They're like, I forget you. You know, these people are good people. Why would you do that? But on the, the other side of that, there were complaints that he was pointing fingers. Basically, they were saying, oh, he's pointing fingers you know, like haphazardly at people calling him these, these terrible things. No, that person was really a predator. They were very much so. And they deserve to be called out. They deserve to be put on blast. And... And more than that, I mean, again, they are a registered offender, 25-year registry. And they were doxing his family. What scumbags, man. General, what's up, General, man? Thanks for the 15. Love you, Tug. Your great dad to those two girls of yours. Just wanted to get my milestone in today and say, hashtag Tug's tits, <laughs> indeed. I hope all the new people like find that. If you've never heard that, by the way, the hashtag tugs. That's a uh, the media. They um they're so good at their investigative journalism that they actually thought that I was a a female at one time. They put up they put up a picture of me. Somebody had made like a just a joke picture. It was um, my my mask face on on a female body. And Ricada Law was laughing at it. And he was like, you know, it would be really funny if we trended hashtag Tug Stints. And we did. We actually trended it number one on Twitter. That's why I know that you can trend this Jeremy Hale stuff. You can have, you can trend, buckle up. If we could take it, we didn't trend. We trended number one. We out-trended hockey. <laughs> we out-trended major sports, paid for items. Because we thought something was funny. If we can do it because it's funny, then we can trend something and get eyes on it. I think that's something that everybody should be, um, everybody should aim for. Again, Twitter, even if you, you hate Twitter, that's the one platform that I think all of this stuff is lacking on. And it is the go-to platform. You know, there's a lot of activity by the hells on Facebook. But Facebook... Facebook, there's nothing wrong with Facebook, but it doesn't impact news at that level. If you want to impact news, if you want to get something to the people, you want other folks to pick up on it, you trend it on Twitter. That's where you have to go to. I mean, it's just, it's a necessary evil in its own way. And it's fun to go on there and slap fight with morons sometimes, too, I do have to say. Hey, Andrew, thanks for the fine. They should hire a PI to check out their past. This is going to be the first time they've done this. They're just too unstable for it to be. Yeah, actually, I would suggest, so Nate the lawyer hired a company to do a internet background check on Chris Boozy. You know, he's looking into all the particulars there. I don't know who he hired. I, I need to talk to him about that. But it wasn't like an insane amount of money. I mean, it wasn't cheap, you know, but it, it, it's like when you're talking about all of that, they went in and they thoroughly compiled all of this evidence. You know, talking about online activity and 
again, I don't think these folks are smart enough to, to truly conceal who they are online. Some of them may be, but the particular people that you're talking about here, they probably go in and they probably just create alternate accounts. They don't know anything else on how to do that. So uh, I imagine if you had somebody that could go in, they could look up the uh, the IP address and, you know, they, they could do their due diligence and truly seek out this information. I imagine that they could that they can find quite a bit. Like I myself am, am looking into their accounts. If you also, if you're very good at finding things, let me put this out to you. If you're very good at finding things online, if you're technically, or you're technologically as rather proficient, and you're just bored and want to find some stuff, hit me up. Because there are specific accounts that I'm looking for prior activity on. This is on my own. I'm not being asked to do anything like that. I'm just curious because I'm, look, I'm, I'm looking at this case. I'm, I'm looking at it in aspects that I think, I won't say they're lacking, but I think that they could be strengthened. I think that that's the point. And I think you could point out they, these people are, haven't, haven't stopped what they were doing. In fact, I, I believe that they've probably done a lot more than people are people are aware of. So anyway. All right. Well, I'm going to call it today. This actually went longer than I thought it would. I wanted to, like I said, bring up the predator thing. I wanted to bring I didn't know if I'd bring up a post or anything, but I thought I'd bring up that one post. But over the next week, I think what we'll do is we'll look at there's three three documents that I want to go over. Maybe there's another one that's out there, but I'd like to look at those three specific documents, and I'd like to look at the things that happen in the courtroom because I would like to look at the grudge judge, <laughs> you know, and to, to look at how they comport themselves, to actually look at the film. I believe, again, um, Megan is going to do some of that. And after that, Oh, well, I get, you know, a few people will cover this stuff and you'll find it's just like watching Depp or other trials. You'll find that people will catch things when you see it a first time. You'll be like, yeah, you know, I, I see X, Y or Z. But after a little while, you'll notice the whole freaking alphabet, you know, and Jeffrey. Hey, thanks for the two there. The hell's it? 697,000 subs. Help them to get to 700,000. Yeah, I think that would be a good you know, if, if the media catches on to this, or not even the media, if the public catches on, the media doesn't really matter. But if they, if if you could get amplification of it, this story would blow them up to a million subscribers easily. Easily. Because it is so, it's just so insane. And people would understand their plight. You can tell that they're not in the wrong here. You know, I mean, when you look at some situations, you might be like, well, I don't really know this one. It's pretty clear what's going on. So anyway, I'm going to end here. Write me again if you want. Granulaheaven at gmail.com. Thank you.